Hey you guys, I pray all is well. I am on here because I have a word from Daddy God, okay? Something that he's been speaking to me for the past week, okay? He's been speaking it to me. Others have been speaking it to me as well. I've been hearing others, you know, saying the same thing as well, okay, you guys? Um, but I pray that this blesses you, okay, you all? But the Lord is saying, stop saying that you can't. Yes, you can. The Lord is saying, stop saying that you can't. Yes, you can. Don't look at your circumstances, but look at me, says the Lord. Don't look at everybody else and what they are doing and how they are doing it, but look at me. Do you trust me, says the Lord, or do you, or are you just saying that you trust me? Stop saying that you can't and when you can. You have to you have to get a can before you get a can't, says the Lord. You have to get C-A-N before you get a C-A-N-T, says the Lord. Can't should even be in your vocabulary, says the Lord. And truth be told, you can't do it without me, says the Lord. I'm not asking you to do it, do it on your own or by yourself. In your own will and in your own ability and in your strength, you can't do it without me, says the Lord. He says, but I want you to do this with me, okay? Lord says... I want you to do this through me. The Lord began to remind me of, I can do all things through Christ because he is the one that's going to strengthen you. You can do all things through Christ and with Christ because he is the one that strengthens you. Not in your own strength, not in your own will, not in your own ability, but with Christ, with Christ. So the Lord is saying, this thing that you're saying that you can't do, you can't do it alone. You're going to have to do it with him. You can do all things through Christ because he is the one that strengthens you. Not you, not Michelle, look, not David, not Mark, not Kristen, not Sarah, like, right? <laughs> not not Missy, not, not Michelle, <laughs> not, not Dominique, right? He said that through Christ, he is the one who will strengthen you. Philippians 4, 13. He says, um... Not your strength or your will, but with my strength and my will. The Lord is saying, I'm asking some of my children to do this or do that. And they're looking at this and that and saying that they can't. They're looking at their circumstances around them and saying that they can't. They're hearing others around them and what naysayers and doubters and unbelievers and carnal-minded people are saying around them and saying that they can't. When the Lord says, yes, you can. With my strength, you can. With my will and my power, you can, and you are, and you will, says the Lord, okay? The Lord is even uh, was telling me even about when he was telling um, the lame man to pick up his mat, okay? The Lord is saying, I'm telling some of my children to go and do this. I'm telling some of my children to go and do that, and... The Lord is saying, you you saying, well, ain't nobody here to help me. And every time I try to get in the water, uh, it's other people that's doing it before me. And they taking off before me. And I'm just left behind. And the Lord is saying, pick up your mat. Yes, you can, my son. Yes, you can, my daughter. Stop saying that you can't. Stop speaking those negative words into the atmosphere. Stop prophesying those negative words over your life. Stop saying it. And some of you are even speaking it to some people are saying that they can't do this or you can't do it. Don't speak that over nobody and don't even speak it over yourself, okay? The words that are coming out of our mouth are very powerful, okay? Once again, our Lord and our Creator created all things by speaking, okay? So that's very powerful, okay? You know, okay, you guys, and the Lord is saying, stop saying that you can't. Yes, you can. Pick up your mat. Don't look at others around you and what they doing and how they doing it, okay? The Lord says, with my strength, yes, you can. Yes, you will. Yes, you are, okay? Stop saying that you can't. You got to get a can before you get a can't, says the Lord. Yes, you can. Yes, you will. You are that mother. You are that father. You are that wife. You are that husband, okay? You are that businessman. You are that businesswoman, okay? You are that first millionaire in your family, billionaire in your family. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I will give you the knowledge and the wisdom, says the Lord, because yes, you can. Stop saying that you can. I'm still trying to help my children, and I'm telling them to pick up their mat, and they still, they still slapping me in the face saying that they can't. 
Yes, you can, says the Lord, okay? I want to thank everybody that's been booking their uh, one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions with me. I am in awe. I am grateful. I am so thankful, okay? Um, I seen some of you went ahead and booked your sessions online with me at michelleheard101.com, okay? And some of you are um, booking even through email. So either or, whichever one is best for you, okay? I am excited. I am grateful and thankful for everybody that the Lord is sending me because I was one of the ones who said, I can't do this. I don't know where my clientele is going to come from. I thought it was going to come from this way or that way. And the Lord says, yes, you can. You just be obedient and pick up your mat. Like I told you, don't worry about everything else. You pick up your mat and you go. You do it. As you obey, I will pay. Yahweh or your way, right? Once again, I just want to say thank you all. And I want to thank Daddy God more than anything. But yes, you can. You can do this just like I'm doing it. You can do it. You can be a life coach. Yes, you can. I didn't already share with you all how I did it and how I done it. I went to Latoya Okia. Y'all are familiar with her with her YouTube? That's who I did it through. Latoya Okia Academy. If you want to be a life coach, yes, you can. Go get your training. Go do it. Pick up your mat, sis. Pick up your mat, bro. It's time to go. Let's go. Like, it's time to take off. <laughs>